Hello and welcome to Unit 3 of the ITAM Foundation Certification Training Course. Unit 3 relates to Software Asset Management. So let's take a look at what this is about. This module will present you the concept and purpose of Software Asset Management or SAM and also how it is placed in the overall ITAM ecosystem of stakeholders. We will also learn a lot about the business value of Software Asset Management the concept of compliance, which is key in software, the risks or costs related to software audits, the best practices in SAM, and the approach to achieving good SAMs. By SAM, I mean software asset management. We have split this into four parts because this is a long section. We begin with part one of unit three, software asset management. This picture has been seen before in the initial definitions unit, wherein we have four elements within IT asset management or ITAM. We have the hardware asset management, software asset management, cloud and services asset management, and people and information asset management. We are currently focused on the software asset management. In a successful ITAM program, all these four areas need to be taken into account. We begin with the concept of software asset management. Software assets are usually more complex and more demanding than hardware assets. Therefore, SAM processes need to be greater in scope and more comprehensive in content. Hardware asset management is not really part of SAM, but these two asset types cannot be separated. There is a close connection between them because the software is installed on the hardware. Therefore, in particular, license consumption in the servers or the data center would be important to track. Most systems that support SAM support HAM as well, or that would be the expectations. By system, here we mean the tools. About software, what is software? At the right we see here, software license is a permission to use one or more copies of software bound by a contract. The licensee does not become the owner of the software, meaning whoever has purchased the software is the licensee and they do not usually own the software unless it is sold that way to them. Software may be either purchased, meaning licensed from a software vendor or manufacturer, or it may be developed in-house. If it is developed in-house, still it is needed to track the software assets, though there may be no specific licensing obligations However, internally developed software may also depend on combination of externally created software. Software typically is viewed as a capex, capital expense, meaning it has a depreciation value. However, new models of deployment such as the cloud environment, software as a service or SaaS, see this as an operational expense or OPEX expenditure. Therefore, generally, the software purchases are shown as capital expense which depreciate over, let's say, a three-year period, which is for the accounting purposes in the company's balance sheet of assets. Continuing on what software is. Software has become a large part of an organization's investment in the digital economy, particularly, to secure their business operations, workflow for innovation, and it has become the most critical element from the risk and cost perspective. But we have to understand that software is highly dependent on the hardware on which they are installed. Such software assets could be anything which include or influence the justification or existence of a license as needed or viewed by a software publisher. Software has become indispensable to the business workflow. Also, hardware cannot function without software, meaning hardware on its own may not really have much value. Even the operating systems or the virtual machine hypervisors, et cetera, on the hardware are really software, without which the hardware doesn't function in a required manner. Also, people need software and hardware in order to create information, for example, to send emails to each other. Software entitlement is defined in a software agreement and is bound to specific terms and conditions it helps to determine how it should be managed. We have covered entitlement earlier in a previous unit. It's about what are the user rights for specific software based on the purchased 
uh, software and the contract which comes along with it. Software licenses have become business assets. Therefore, IT organizations need to invest proportionate time and money in a solution to manage software assets. Certain software could be really expensive, such as ERP systems, enterprise resource planning. There is also a term known as software related assets. This is not the software itself, but it is uh, the associated elements such as the processor type and speed or um, the individuals who use the software and any information which is associated with the software as well. Software assets have various components from a SAM or software asset management perspective. They include the master copy of the software itself on the master media, distribution copies known as images of the software on freestanding media, meaning other media or on servers or systems. The proof of license known as the software license certificate, the terms and conditions of the license, which has been purchased, the support contract itself for the software, which is separate from the, the terms and conditions of the usage, but it'll all be in a single contract usually. The license keys are the software passcodes for the purchased software. So software maintenance authorization codes. Even for software upgrades, we need additional licenses. Generally, for example, an annual license for all the upgrades uh, will be valid within one year. So which means the purchaser has to buy regular annual upgrade licenses usually. But these are the software maintenance authorization codes, which you see here on this list. Then we have the software release documentation to provide clarity on the version numbers of the various software releases. The upgrade components, which come with upgrades, such as files, etc., a list of files or a bill of materials. And last but not the least, operationally installed licenses or instances of the software. These are not the actual number of licenses purchased, but the number which have been installed. <clears throat> 